on a scale of one to 10, how flexible would you consider yourself? I'm not talking about your hamstrings, people. Uh, how flexible are you to change, okay? Are you open to learning new ideas? Are you open to changing your mind when presented with new information? Um, are you able to let go of really long held beliefs that maybe came from your mom and dad or your grandma and gra grandpa uh, that you were raised into when your knowledge in an area increases? Maybe it's time to level up this skill. I'm Sage, I'm a growth coach, and the topic is the measure of intellig intelligence is the ability to change. Uh, this is based on an Albert Einstein quote. Okay, so why is it important to remain flexible to new knowledge, ideas, and change? Well, no one knows everything about everything. If you think you do, you're wrong, okay? Um, so basically you're, you know, hopefully you live to be in your nineties and when you die, when you're 97, you're still not going to know everything about everything. So keep learning. Also close minded people are just plain annoying to be around. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Ew, gross, right? Um, and if you're close minded, then you're going to draw more close minded people into your life. Uh, also, our ultimate goal in this lifetime should be how many people can we show compassion, love, and grace to, um, not how many people can we polarize ourselves from with our, you know, closed-minded beliefs. So here's a couple quotes. The, again, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. This is by Albert Einstein. This is what this video is based on. And there is nothing permanent except for change unknown. So how good are you at staying open to change and how could you totally rock this skill? All right, I got you. We got three ways today, three ways to stay more open to change. Number one, investigate more points of view than just your own. Also ask questions and actually listen. Most of the time as humans, we all do this, so don't think you don't. We ask questions so that we can talk, okay? Try asking questions so you can listen. And then three, lead from your heart and really choose to embody compassion. That's how you stay open to change because the way we connect with others is through that compassion and that empathy um, of knowing what other people's experiences are because uh, and nobody has the same experience in this lifetime. All right, circling around, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. So which one of those three tips resonates with you? All right, here's your intention. I am always open to change. I am always open to change. Okay. Oh, boy, we need a lot more of that in the world right now, don't we? Ah, okay. We used to be in a, a, a society that could relate a little bit better and we've really polar, polarized ourselves lately. And um, I just constantly send out prayers and hopes and wishes and intentions that we will come back around to being able to have our differences, but understand, accept, and love others for their differences instead of polarizing ourselves away from those people. Thanks for growing with me. Growth isn't easy. Mm -mm. No. But if we do it together, it gets easier. So thanks for showing up. Follow me at Growing Sage, Growing Sage Journey, or on my YouTube page at Sage Robinson Miller. Love you.